The cholera bacterium is present primarily in wastewater and human excreta. The disease breaks out where there is poor hygiene, earning it its nickname, the dirty hands disease. It's estimated that cholera affects between 3 and 5 million people annually and kills about 100,000. Cholera strikes in pandemics and affects large areas. There have been seven pandemics, the last of which began in 1961 and is still active today. Cholera is endemic in many countries, which means it is constantly present. But the statistics are imprecise, and the World Health Organization, or WHO, estimates that cholera cases reported by countries represent only 5 to 10 percent of the reality. India and Bangladesh, which are believed to have the largest number of annual cases, do not declare their numbers to the WHO. In 2012, the worst affected countries were Haiti, Sierra Leone, Democratic Republic of Congo, and Somalia. The disease is most common in Africa and East Asia, where the highest case fatality rates are found. In other words, the highest percentage of deaths compared to the number of cases. Conflicts and massive refugee displacements fuel epidemics, and it is estimated that in 1994, cholera killed in just a few weeks close to 25,000 Rwandan refugees in Congo. The recent case of Haiti has caused a lot of ink to flow. No trace of the bacterium, the cholera vibrion, had been seen in Haiti for over a hundred years. In 2010, nine months after the earthquake hit Port-au-Prince, an epidemic broke out in the north of the country. An investigation revealed that the contamination might have originated in a United Nations Nepalese peacekeepers camp, where wastewater was disposed of into the Artibunit, Haiti's biggest river. The epidemic spread quickly. On November 1st, many people living in the north went south to visit their families in Port-au-Prince. And on November 8th, cholera erupted in the capital. The strain causing cholera in Haiti originated in Bangladesh in the 1990s and is far more virulent than the usual strain. It may well be the start of a new pandemic. 